Good morning, everyone. I am here doing, I am so excited about this. I'm doing very vegetable soup. And this is coming from the uh, Slow Cooker Series Volume 2. You need this if you don't have it, especially if you are a working mama or you're just a busy mama. You need this um, because it's just, it's all slow cooker. So what you do is you have all of your um, recipe, all your cooking done in the morning, and then you get home and you're, you're good. Dinner's already in the crock pot and ready to go. So this is kind of a dump and bake kind of thing. Um, I will tell you, I meal planned last night. I cut a lot of my stuff up last night. I didn't cut the potatoes. I'd love to know if I cut the potatoes at night, if I put them in the fridge, would they be okay? Y'all are the, always the great ones about knowing that. So let me know what you think. So I already sauteed my celery, um, and my onions and my carrots. So because they're already sauteed, I'm going to go ahead and put this in. And so this just calls for what you do is you do onions and carrots and celery and you saute them. And y'all, I don't know about you, but I actually just got the vegetable soup at Panera the other day. And, um, you know, I kind of was not impressed with it. I love their butternut squash soup. That's my absolute favorite, but they were out. And so I had to get the vegetable soup. I was not impressed. So I am thinking this is probably going to be a whole lot better than Panera. I would love some harder likes if that, if you think um, so too. Vicki, you say as long as you cover them in water. That is good to know. Thank you for letting everyone know about that. So that way they can do, um, they can know that. Okay, so I'm going to try to go in order because y'all know I forget things if I don't. Um, but I have to find what I'm looking for. Okay, so what it is, it's carrots, onions, and celery. And I'm going to be honest. Y'all know I don't really measure things out. I try to do well with the vegetables. Um, my family is not really big veggie fans, but I would say if you're going to make this, I personally think if you add hamburger, um, I'm going to eat this. Um, and what I'm going to do is probably take this and I'm going to freeze some of it into separate bat, like separate bowls. And then that way, if I don't have leftover lunch, I have this for lunch. I can just pull it out. So that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm excited about it. I love vegetable soup, y'all. I love it. I grew up eating um, hamburger soup in my house. That's what my mom used to always make. And so, um, sorry, I'm going to have to get a spoon. And Okay, so this is just garlic. It says four cloves. Y'all know the more the garlic, the better. Um, I need to find me a trash pile here. Uh, okay, it's a lot different doing it in front of people and on camera and you can't just move and everything. So, at any rate, this is, if you don't have a garlic press, you need one. These are the bomb. Every time I use this, people are like, you didn't peel it. That's what's so awesome about the garlic press. You don't have to peel it. It's just, you put it in there and it's done. Um, it's like absolutely one of my favorite things ever. Um, okay, so we're going to put lots of garlic because you know vegetable soup is good for you. You usually eat it whenever you're sick. Whenever you're sick, you need garlic, right? Because that's like a natural antibiotic. So, okay. There we go. How many of y'all have been loving, absolutely loving this month, October? How many of y'all have just been enjoying it? And how many of your family members are just saying, yes, finally, we're not having the same thing every day or like every week. We're not, you know, it's like changing up, trying new things. I love it. Um, and by the way, that macaroni and cheese, my daughter did say it was better than the box. So it, it was an awesome recipe and it won. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of stir that a little around a little, and then we got that in there. We're going to do, um, two cartons of low sodium. Yeah. Well, I didn't get low sodium, but I love it because I can use my organic products. Oh, that's chicken stock. I don't want to use that. I need to go get my chicken broth. Okay. So I need two, that two things of chicken broth not stock so i'm going to get kind of go and uh change that because i know there's some recipes i have that i use chicken stock for um that's this is a lot i'm thinking that maybe what i can do you can do is to just kind of save a pinch of little pennies is you know don't you can put water in here if you want um and not as much so i may just do that i have some chicken broth in here and so I may just kind of stick a little stop well no I'm not going to do that I'm going to kind of stick with this so this is pretty much full I'm going to fill a little bit of it with water um it probably is a lot better with chicken broth all the chicken broth but I'm kind of just kind of if you want to pinch some pennies you can but this was pretty much full of chicken broth so I'm just going to kind of do that I just pulled this out to do something else with it so Okay, that's a lot. I guess 
she probably should put that in last, right? That would have been smart. Okay, and then the crushed tomatoes. Y'all, we love some, this is like our favorite. And one of our readers actually found this at the Dollar Tree. So if you find this at the Dollar Tree, you are banking because that's an awesome find. $1.25 for this is awesome. I usually get it BOGO at Publix and just stock up whenever it's on sale. And yeah, I used the chicken broth last. That's just my person. Don't go in order. I have to go in order whenever I do live because I forget things. Okay, we got that. I'm going to do the potatoes last because I did not cut those. And then we're going to use 12 ounces of frozen green beans. So that's easy enough. That's my bag pretty much. So we love green beans in our house. <clears throat> so here we go. Darn, this is going to like fill my crock pot up, y'all. This is like enough to bring. You can like totally bring this to somebody who's sick. Like that, I think about that. Like that's awesome. Okay, a one and fourth. Okay, this is my green beans. So I'm going to do a cup of green beans. I don't usually use frozen green beans, so this is kind of new for me. We usually just use sand, which is, I know, bad because it's salty. I know, I know, I know. But that's just what we do. Okay, and then a fourth cup of, y'all, aren't you proud of me? I'm actually measuring these. And then a fourth, y'all, this is going to, like, totally fill up. And I like this meal because, I okay, I'll be honest, there's not a lot of spices in it. That's because it's room for you to put whatever you want in there is what I look at it like. So I'm feeling like we need some spices in this. We do have some bay leaves. Okay. Good enough. We're going to use that. Don't want to waste. Man, I'm just like, this is like going to fill up your crock pot, like for real. Okay, so we have potatoes. I just got these because they were cheaper. Um, I went with what was on sale instead of one russet potato. I just thought these would be better. Oh, what am I going to cut these in? This is what, what happens. Okay. Don't judge how I cut potatoes. Okay. We're going to do that. I did wash my hands. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I wash my hands. Okay. So how many of y'all, what has your, been your favorite meal so far that you have made? Um, because we have... Again, we've loved it. How many of y'all loved the ribs yesterday? Oh my goodness, that is our favorite recipe ever. Oh, we love the ribs. That is that is just amazing. We love them. I think this is a cool recipe right here. Again, this is the very vegetable soup. Um, I think this is great because um, you can freeze it after you make it, and you can have it in case you're sick one day. You don't have to use the canned, canned vegetable soup, right? You can just totally... Um, pull this out and have it ready and you have homemade you know whenever you're sick you just want your food but you don't want to cook it right and so that's why this is great so that's what I plan on doing either that or I'm just gonna go um, we're gonna have it tonight but then I'm gonna use the leftovers and see if somebody wants them um, I you know bless somebody you know if you know a mama that's kind of overwhelmed just say hey can I bring you dinner that just like brightens their day right okay we're gonna kind of cut that in half okay and then the rest is the sweet potatoes. We're gonna add that, and then after that, y'all, dinner's done. And so you can do this. This takes all day to cook, and y'all, look at how much this is. This is like a ton of food. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how much food this is. I'll be honest, I do not cut potatoes, sweet potatoes. I haven't cut sweet potatoes in five ever, and I'll tell you why. Because my husband's granny is amazing. She was amazing. Um, she had passed away a few years ago, but. She told me the best secret about sweet potatoes, and I don't know if y'all knew this. I did, a, I did a Facebook Live years and years ago about this, too, because I just had to share the wealth with everybody. And so um, you, if you do sweet potato casserole or something, just take your potatoes and then put them in the oven. Just wash them off, put them in the oven, and y'all, no kidding, just let them cook really, really good. And then by the time they cook really good, you just kind of take a fork and take the peeling off, and you, can, you, have, you just take a spoon and just... They're so tender at mash. You don't ever have to cut sweet potatoes ever again. It is it is amazing. Whenever you make sweet potato casserole, we make sweet potato casserole as a side a lot in our house, and so um, that is I just freeze it. I use my vacuum sealer and I make a whole bunch of sweet potatoes, um, and then I just freeze them, and it's amazing. And then I just pull them out and whip them up and cook them so it makes it easy so okay y'all so this is again this is from the slow cooker volume two week two 
You need this recipe, especially, this is great if you have somebody sick that you wanna bring a meal to. This, this is enough for you, your family, and somebody else, y'all. This is making a ton of food. I cannot believe how much this makes. Um, okay, so this is sweet potatoes, potatoes, peas, carrots, corn, and then you put bay leaves in. I am going to put some spices in here. I'm gonna kinda play around with it and see what spices I have. Um, okay, so y'all, this is a absolute ginormous amount of food. I cannot believe how much food this is. I love this recipe because of the sweet potatoes and the potatoes. That is so unique. And so we're just gonna, yep, that looks awesome. This, is, this makes me happy. I'm a closet vegetarian because I don't eat meat out in public. And so I, this is garlic salt. I feel like everything in life needs garlic salt except for baking. Um, and then I'm just gonna put some garlic salt. And then also you put bay leaves. When do you put that bay leaves in? Uh, bay leaves, oh, thyme. How do you say that, thyme or thyme? Like, which one is it? Which one? Um, use a pillar for your potatoes and don't lose as much potato. Oh, that's true, you're right, you're right, I'm terrible. I'm just so lazy when it comes to that. I just find nice or easier, they're right by where I'm at. Okay, I'm putting a whole bunch of this in because I love this spice, this spice is awesome. Ooh, this smells so good. I know that's it, I know people love or hate that. Okay, and then I have my bay leaves. Again, I used all organic stuff, so it's better than Panera, even though Panera is a clean restaurant. Um, Okay, and here's my bay leaves. You put two bay leaves. Well, I feel like since it's so much, we should put three, right? Oh, did I need, do I need to wash these? I probably need to wash them, don't I? Ooh. Okay, so just like that, I had, again, I had um, the, I had the, the carrots and the celery and onions last night cut, cut up. Now you can do the potatoes, so if you really want a menu plan and you don't have to do a whole lot of work in the morning, um, you can just do what, what they said, what, I can't remember who it was that said that, but you can totally, um, you can uh, do all your cutting at night and then just, or you can even just throw it in the crock pot and cook it and then turn it on warm. It's up to you. I mean, again, this is to make your life easier and I feel like the slow cooker, um, the slow cooker recipes are awesome to me because if your kids are in sports and stuff, it's just really hard to come home after working all day, then go into the sporting events and everything. And so there you go, your dinner's ready. All you can do, you can even make homemade bread if you want, if you wanna go all out and everything. So you can do that. So again, the this is from the slow cooker, it's volume two. You need this if you haven't. Again, these make great, 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 great gifts. I cannot tell you how many times this makes great gifts. This makes great Christmas gifts. If you cannot find somebody something for somebody, for Christmas, they need this. This in the planner, I would say hands down, you need to give them this. So, okay, there you go. Croctober is on its way. Um, and there you go, Be very vegetable soup. Again, you can add whatever you want. If you wanna add hamburger, add to it. Um, you can you can make it what you want. You can add your spices, whatever you're, whatever you're fancy, you can do. Um, and I'm excited about it. I'm loving that the sweet potatoes are in there. I'm so excited. So I hope y'all have a great, great Thursday. Oh, Bible studies today. So I hope y'all have a great day and I can't wait to see who joins us for Bible study today. I'm excited about today's lesson. Bye.